Good day, everyone. It is currently the 22,011 out there and three in the Western Pacific that we are currently watching today. This is this area of low pressure just northwest coast of Honshu, producing some rain showers and high winds in Japan. And an extension off of that is this cold trend going all the way towards the southwest in this area of pressure, tropical depression 06W, or tropical depression a guy is being called by Pegasa, still spinning out here just southeast of Hong Kong. Current winds out of that are at about 30 knots, gusting up to 40 knots currently. Now we're going to dive a little bit more into that in a second but first and foremost I do want to talk about this large area for low pressure that actually being called by JMA a low pressure area just basically uh, to the west of Guam just east of Visayas and north of Palau all centered out here in the Philippine Sea large broad area of low pressure rather disorganized and elongated at this time but a lot of convection in the midst of this and it is actually gaining organization here in the last 12 hours and I would not be surprised if it does get upgraded to a tropical depression by JMA and JTWC but zooming in on it and watching the satellite loop for the past 24 hours on this enhanced IR imagery here you really can see how this organized up here and it's eventually getting larger and larger over the course of these last 24 hours starting off very weak and of minor convection spotted all over this and then it starts to get more organized and gets that cyclonic circulation in the midst of it here as it continues to track off towards the northwest with a lot of high convection in the center of this especially off towards the uh, the western portion with a lot of good equatorial flow coming in on the southern periphery free here. Subtropical ridges up towards the northern portion here and also there's a lot of wind shear located up in this region as well shown here actually 50 to 40 knots of wind shear on the northeastern periphery. Also just towards the south there's an actually a anti-cyclone down in this region here kind of producing a lot of wind shear as well. So right now this invest area or TCFA is sitting in this rather good area here for uh, intensification and as the tracks off towards the northwest continue to see light wind shear throughout this entire region. Also if we just uh, look at the vorticity chart there is a fair amount of positive vorticity out in this region indicating the upward vertical motion for intensification of this system so as I stating I would not be surprised if it's upgraded to a tropical depression if you're watching this and already has and I'm sure you're curious and where exactly it will be going well here looking at four separate models starting off with GFS no gaps you also have the European model and CMC over here GFS and CMC pull both pulling the strongest on this with it dropping the pressure down to 980 millibars as it approaches the Luzon Strait so that could be be off towards of a strong tropical storm even a weak typhoon if it does uh, intensify to the point of where these two models are showing here uh, the European model very weak on it right now actually just tracking it off towards the northwest just east of the Philippines and that's really the same thing that all three of these are really uh, confirmed on and matching on is the fact that this will track off towards the northwest and eventually recurve towards the north well east of the Philippines and this is also matched up with the streamline analysis that I like to use to give the impression of the overall background flow and where these warm core lows are going to move following that. Well, you still have the subtropical high out here, basically the Westpac high up in this region, and this troughing right here in the midst associated with that cold front that came through with this uh, basically this um, westerly low that's moving across Japan today is also having an influence breaking that subtropical ridge and allowing for this to track off towards the north in this area of low pressure right in here. So really a high confidence, even though if this does not develop up, the overall clouds associated with this is going to track off towards the north and then eventually recurve off towards the northeast across the Ryukyu Islands and out towards Honshu. So really could see a high amount of precipitation out in this entire region here in the coming days, even if this does not develop up. But the Ryukyu Islands likely would not see that precipitation until the 24th into the 25th, even some high winds possible with it as well. But here just showing the uh, high res vis visible and IR imagery actually combined on here. This is actually showing the IR imagery right here, just global view. Also showing tropical depression 06W here off towards the west. But really I just want to show this because it shows the mass amount of convections associated with this system right in here. Showing the center of circulation actually should be right about in this region. Still waiting for an ASCA imagery to uh, fly by to confirm this but just looks like the center of circulation should be right in there. Now I noted earlier good equatorial inflow coming into the system and that's all these banding right in here. A lot of moisture down there. Sea surface temperature is well above 90 degrees Fahrenheit. So a lot of moisture and Latin heat being fed into the midst of the system. As noted though that's a tropical ridge up towards the north. Also cooler sea surface temperatures. That's why you're seeing a little bit more dry air coming in from this way as well. So that's actually being some uh, dry air inflow actually just inhibiting the intensification out of this system. It is still intensifying but 
It's rapid intensification not likely just due to all this dry air coming in from the north as well. So these two forces are kind of competing against each other. Looks like the equatorial inflow is starting to win out here. Given the model analysis and nonsense right now, I really would not be surprised if this is upgraded to a tropical depression or a tropical storm in the next several hours here. But also looking out towards the west here, now tropical depression 06W or a guy moving off towards the west. Very weak right now, as you can see on this imagery, very scattered. Got a few areas of higher cloud tops here and over in this region. Also much of the South China Sea due to the uh, northwesterly wind shear in this region. Has a lot of convection out in this region as well. Also showing some inflow moving across Manila today. Producing seeing some high amount of rain showers throughout much of northern Luzon, even still associated with Tropical Depression 06W here. As of right now though, Hong Kong remains under standby signal force 1, which states that a uh, tropical cyclone is within 800 kilometers of the city. Right now though, looking at observations, and actually this radar here is just showing spotty rain showers towards the south, but observations out of the city, upwards about 20-25 knots currently, could see some higher winds within the buildings, in between buildings. This is really common within cities just due to a funnel effect through the region and also Hong Kong has a lot of the mountains right near the uh, coastline there also that could produce some funneling effects especially through the bay itself because mountains on the island and also mountains just inland uh, produce some uh, funneling effects through there especially if you get some winds coming in from the west and also from the east as well so just want to mention that you could see some higher winds in certain locations but right now though it doesn't look like any destruction force going to come out of this uh, actually really confident nothing like that's going to come out of this just could see some spotty rain showers and those increased winds in those funneling areas is. And here just showing uh, four different agencies warning on this. JTWC, JMA, and Hong Kong still warning on this. Bagasa has since dropped warning on it just basically because it's moved out of their warning area. But JTWC does continue to have a track off towards the west, south of Hong Kong. Uh, JMA, very vague on their warning, but it really looks kind of the same way as well. And same thing with the Hong Kong Observatory matching up with JTWC and moving the mass amount of convection and the high winds off towards the west towards Hainan and uh, basically southeastern China here. Now, another thing I do want to mention, though, is that much of the convection is on the southwestern periphery and also it's very sparse and scattered so it doesn't look like the rain event that we originally expected for southeastern China the high amount of precipitation is going to happen just due to the overall scatteredness of this. Hainan could see some high amount of precipitation if it does move off and towards that direction localized though and in certain regions and low-lying areas so that if you are watching this from this particular region right in here could see some high amount of flooding but otherwise though much of southeastern China looks like it's going to be spared and quickly moving down south I haven't done an update for Australia Australia in a while. Basically though the Australian high does dominate much of the country today and thus the weather is rather quiet throughout much of the country. We do have this area of low pressure across uh, basically southeastern Australia producing some precipitation for Sydney today as it tracks off towards the east and as is going to include up off here just off the southeastern coast but overall though very quiet out there thus really just haven't been updating uh, too much on Australia recently. But that is all for today everyone. Thanks again for listening to westernpacificweather.com. I do want to mention though this is going to be my last video update for quite a while. Uh, basically going on some more uh, business related travel out there. We'll continue to have text updates and basically graphical updates at the website at westernpacificweather.com. So please go there and check it out. Plenty of new improvements to the site as well. So and also I do want to mention uh, RP Weather or Pat is going to cover me on these uh, video updates as well. So please go click up here to check out his channel. He will make updates for uh, basically uh, for typhoons and tropical cyclones out here specifically ones that affect the Philippines. So uh, just please go check out his channel as well he will have some uh, good analysis and coverage on these storms so thanks again for listening everybody have a great day stay safe out there and we'll continue to watch this system out here just east of the philippines here in the coming days